Richard Bunton. I'm from John Deere Harvester Works, and we're here today to uh, show the new features of the new S series combines. Let's start off by looking at the cab. Just the visibility that we now have with the cab all the way around the cab. Much more visibility than we've ever had before in a combine. This is a worldwide cab. It's on all of our products, so it is worldwide completely. Now, we've just stepped into our cab, and uh, the next thing we're going to do is adjust our air conditioner. By pushing the button on the uh, console, we can turn on the air conditioner. We also have a, uh, another rotating button that goes from automatic to fan speed, any, any amount of fan speed you can have. Most people are going to run it on automatic most of the time. Along with that, we have the uh, temperature from cold to hot. Take notice of the 23 of uh, the display, armorous display, and you'll see when we do anything in that auto, we, all, we bring up not only the inside temperature that we set it to, but also the out, amb ambient temperature outside. We also now have heated and also remote controlled mirrors. I can push a button just like you would in your auto, and then simply hit the toggle and move the, the in this case, the right mirror, or the left mirror, and then I could also swing and do the right mirror. This is the heat switch, so on those cold winter mornings when you get out and you have some frost on your mirrors, you can turn that on and uh, take the frost off. Along with that, if you'll just notice, the mirrors that stick out so I can see completely behind me, they also retract and fold into the machine for rotability and putting it in your shed. By visibility in the cab, you can see with my feet. In the cab that we had prior to that, I would have the feet up probably about where you see them right now. With this cab, as you can see, I'm over six foot tall, so I can stretch my feet out. We also have the steering column that adjusts in two different areas now. So I can break it, I can pull it in, and then for getting it right back in my lap, I can pull it in more with this, as you just saw. This uh, other high note features of the cab, we now have the people that ask for it a long, uh, many, for a, a long time, and what it, it, it's what we call a cool box. You can put your lunch, your drinks, and stuff as you go. That is powered through the combine anytime the key is on. The, the cool box is running as well. So you can do it all right here from the comfort of your cab and see everything that's going on with the machine and also do a lot of settings. Some of the major settings entered of course would be my concave clearance, fan speed, chaffer clearance or chaffer opening, sieve openings. And again that can all be done right from this screen by touch set. Now let's talk about the uh, thing that I think a lot of people are excited about. I, I think everybody knows in the past several times a day perhaps you'd have to go up in the tank, grain tank, and either lower or raise your extension manually. We do offer now as an option the folding unloading or the folding grain tank uh, extensions. As you can see on the touch set, if I want to open them, I press that and as you can see through the window in the back of the cab, 30 seconds or less, the extensions raise. Along with that, the fountain auger in the tank raises and the grain sample trough uh, is put into place. When I want to close the extensions, I simply go to the display, or the, again the display. On the right side, you will see the icon for closing them. You push that and they close automatically. Now, uh, you do have to note that the grain tank can't have, it has to be empty when I raise or lower the grain tank extensions. Another new feature with the uh, S-Series world cab, a worldwide cab design, is the, vis the added visibility. And we can point this out by looking at this yellow line that we have taped across the top of the windshield. That represents where the height would have been on the, uh, the combine prior to this, or the door prior to this. As you can see, we have quite a bit of distance above that now, so we get away from where we had to bend down and look up and try to see where our unloading auger was in relationship to the grain cart. I'm going to swing the auger out, and please notice as we swing it out, the extra visibility that we have of that. As that auger swings into position, again, just please note, above the yellow line, that you wouldn't have had that visibility with the prior cab. It's a big improvement so I can see my cart. And again, I can just, from the comfort of the cab, I can swing that back.